You ain't on the Lucha Cabra, spelled before a live studio audience. <laughs> Hello. What's going on, Welcome. YouTube? Dorito. And the Lucha Cabra here. And today, we got we the Tau Tau New Cheetah. New Tau Cheetah. Tell about it, Luch. It's bright green, people. It's bright green. Look at that. It's not that blue that we've grown accustomed to, but it's a nice bright green. Yeah. And people, this has a remote start to it. It has an hour meter. It's an automatic transmission. Uh, and this is just plug and play, ready to go stuff, like usual. Forward and reverse. It has aluminum wheels. This is the Blinky yeah. model here. Yep. Yeah. Look at those, people. It has aluminum wheels. Knobbies. And of course, it comes with the obligatory Chinese square tires, people. This will get you down the trail <laughs> very slowly. Yep. And also, too, it's got the aluminum slip-on exhaust that I really, really like. Luch even kind of talked about That looks neat, bit. people. And I'm sure once we get the uh, blue protection off of there, it'll be even more blingy. Yep. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get this thing assembled. And take it down the trails. So let's get on with it. Shall we? Boop. Okay. What we got to do is first put on the shocks and the steering, and then the wheels. And then you can get it off bucket over here and start with the top part. Yeah. So let's do it while we got our muscle man here to hold those things steady so it don't fall on my fragile little toes. Yeah, unfortunately up here on Luch Mountain we have uh, Bucket's cousin, True Value. True Value is filling in for Bucket today. And he's not as strong as Bucket. He's not, he's very weak. He's spent a lot of time on Luch Mountain and it's become soft. Yeah, him and, him and his buddy up here bored. They're really bored. They're really bored. They got not much to do. So what we're gonna do, just keep this thing from wobbling. That's keep what I'm going to do. We've got the uh, shocks to put on, people, and that's going to take uh, pre-supplied bolts that you got to take out and then put right back in again. And that comes with a 13 and a 17 socket. Socket, wrench. And wrench. Yes. As you can see, we've got them right here. So This is all pretty basic to, to assemble. You guys have seen us assemble these before. But this is the newer one that's got all the extra it's stuff. It's got bling, on. people. This thing's got bling. And once we do get this assembled, Bluch will be taking this for a ride. Um, another thing that I noticed too on this is the foot guards. They're actually metal. So this thing's solid. They powder coated the frame. Everything yeah. is, it, it's really, really nice on this. They really went out of their way with going and accessorizing. Boy, they sure did. So we're going to see how this thing runs too next after that. And uh, that's going to be the big test. That is going to be the big test, people. And you do that uh, on both sides, people. You got a shock on the front, two shocks on the front, uh, one on both sides. And then you go ahead and do the rest like you did the one side. Yep, that's why I wanted to bring this thing up to Luch Mountain so we could take it off the trail and go and ride it. And let me tell you, Luch Mountain uh, really appreciates that. And always remember, people, right tool for the right job. Wrenches do double as hammers. Okay, shocks are on. Then put a new steering arm. Steering arm going on. Those take cotter pins as well, right? Mr. Cotter pins. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> I got it, I got it! And you have the cotter pins, correct? Yes, I do. They are supplied. So, we'll get those tightened up. We have a habit of losing little things here at Dorito and Luch Cabre. Sometimes. Like our mind. Yep. We're back! Okay, Bill. So once we've got our, our castle nut tight, we can then take our uh, Mr. Cotter pin, gently stick it in the hole, and bend it around to later get your ankles while you're riding. So, well, uh, now, we can go on and put the wheels on. Yep. I think we should start with the back wheel. Since it's so top heavy. So all we really need to do Slide the wheels on, make sure the spline goes in correctly. The spline goes in, and then you can put your hardware on. Yep. Play with the hardware long enough, and it'll become softer. Okay. Before we put the fronts on, people, then, something very important you must do. Brakes. Put the brakes on. Now, the brakes have a little square notch and a little uh, square peg that they go sliding into. You got to put that on first. Before you put your patented square Chinese wheels on. <laughs> and you repeat the process front and back on the other side. Yep. All right. It's going to be fun seeing Luch ride this thing down the trails up here. Little guy, little bike. Any questions? Lock washer, lock washer, castle nut. 
You know the drill, people. You've been here before. Now, pull your wrench out of your partner's butt. He's purely platonic, you know. And go around till it's snug on there. Go ahead and put your Mr. Carter pin in there. And then take one of these really neat hubcaps. Check it out, people. It has a nautical star on it. That means you can take this across the ocean. <laughs> it's really cool, people. That's a neat feature that's not much discussed in this model. I didn't know cats could swim. They do. They don't like to, <laughs> oh. but they do. The <laughs> nautical star proves it, people. So you do that all the way around. And then you can put it down yeah. and do the top. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll get right back to you guys, all right? Stay tuned for more. Can we really take this on the ocean? Yeah. Okay. So we got it down, got the wheels on, got the back rack lined up, the back of rack. We got the uh, front bumper put on. Lined up. Yep. We still gotta go around and tighten everything up. Yep. Like the uh, handlebars, uh, the bumpers, the rack and everything. But a uh, uh, thing to note, people, that when you air up your tires, they have uh, taken the Schrader valves out uh, from the factory so they can squish the tires down and compress them uh, low enough to uh, fit the packaging. So you're going to have to tighten the Schrader valves up and make sure you do. Otherwise, you know, uh, all your air goes out in the air and uh, airless air is no good, right? Yep. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a 10 millimeter uh, all around to the to the racks and the bumpers. And Chip over here is going to set up the handlebars with his 10 millimeter wrench. Yep. And we'll get that done. And then we'll go ahead and put in the battery. Gas battery comes up. next. Gas and go. Yep. So let's, let's get this. on it. Let's do this. Now down here on the exhaust, people, it's sandwiched in. You've got these uh, these straps that are sandwiched in uh, to hold the exhaust up. So make sure you put the uh, spacer on the all the way on the inside, so you know, it'll hold your exhaust tight. And then you take your 13 millimeter wrench and your 10 millimeter socket and tighten it up. You know this is a quality piece, people, but it's made by Dong Jin, and they put an actual 69 on it. Quality, quality. Piece. Make sure you get your 69 directly from Dong Jin. Does this battery make my butt look big? <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> a little baby battery. Okay, you know, now onto the battery. And it just slips right into this little compartment under the seat here. Under the seat. Under the seat. <laughs> you like that, people? Yeah, we're Disney friendly here. And make sure you put your strap on. I think you said we were Disney friendly. <laughs> All right, people. <laughs> You want to do so You want to do that first before you get wires all in your way and you can't do it then. Go ahead and clips right on and hold your battery in place. Now, people, you want to put the positive on first, and yes, I am positive. <laughs> and you want to make sure where do we put our little nuts? We always lost those little nuts, haven't we? These nuts, these nuts are special nuts. You got your screwdriver too? No. Tighten it down to the Vizidivin Luchin meters. Oh, good and tight. Yeah, yeah. And then you repeat that process with the negative side. Square nut in. Oh, oh, no, no. Come here, I got a <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> got he. <laughs> got he. <laughs> now you want to put your seat on and make sure it's clips in. This on both slides sides. into this line underneath that little nut. That nut, not this nut. There you go. And boom, there yeah. you've got it clipped. We have a key on. Now let's see if we can. Let's see what you do. Get you in neutral. Neutral. So we do okay, have, we have power. Look at that. Power. So we're going to get some fuel in this, check the oil, and we'll get right back to you guys. All right? All right. <laughs> oh, I saw All right, it, guys. So there we have it. It's the Tau Tau Cheetah. We got it together. We're going to go ahead and start it up right now. Right now. See if it runs. We see how it right? sounds. We put gas in it. Yep. And then we're going to take it for a ride. So hopefully it'll uh, start. So let's cross our fingers. People. All right. So we turn the key on and we see that we do have power. And we are in neutral. So we will hit the little button. Look at that, people. Starts right up. I like the way that sounds. It only sounds this way because of the need. Uh, a little bit of exhaust has got on it. Yeah, and slip on exhaust. It's really cool. Real good. Really cool. Yep. Easy to change if you want a different sound too. Yeah. Like no muffler at all. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, people, let's get this on the trail and see what it do. Let's get on with it. Shall we? Aha! 
<laughs> he's nervous now, people. He's nervous. Once again, this has the little lightning bolt on it. See that? When I hit that, it's got an electric field around it to shock whoever's trying to steal it. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa! It worked. That's actually the start button, people. It didn't, you didn't get shocked? No. They lied to me. All right, now. Oh, it doesn't work easier, but. Oh, it doesn't work either. Hey, how about I get it? Huh? No? Oh, hey, huh? Now, wrong button, you're getting the starter. There, there we go. go. There we go. Let me see that thing. Kids should not have remotes. So I'm going to put it's this fine. in the pocket for when we go for No, it. you're not. <laughs> no, he's not. So let's get on with it. We shall. And you should not let that axle right there go anywhere near that butt. Nah, it'll handle it. That's what I'm going to write. So let's get on with it. Shall we? guys so there you have it we slapped it together it took all of maybe an hour and a half you know then Real that's simple just, stuff that's, huh? that's just lagging it's just putting on the wheels putting on the handlebars putting on the rack putting on the front bumper airing up the tires put some fuel in it checking make your oil sure you tighten every bolt on this thing people yes make sure go over every Before single you take it out yep go over every single bolt on it that's right okay um now also you see it go down the trail what do you think luch this thing really it moves pretty good it handled that trail as you saw yeah Pretty steep hill too. That was a pretty steep hill. That's that's kind of a lot of jeeps drive over there and they go through stuff like that. So it's actually pretty cool to see this thing make it up it and make it down it. For 125, it, it got enough power to make it up that hill. Yeah, with Luch on there. Now maybe I should have tried it with me. But uh, nah, we didn't, we you just got too much junk in the trunk. Yeah, it was hard enough climbing. We want down to save this axle. People. It was hard enough climbing down and back up the hill to get the shot. So that's right. Yep. So anyways, guys. Do that again. Guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Dorito and the Lucha Cabre. And don't forget to come back and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. You guys rock. And you can check this out and other products much, much at more. Superior Power Sports and other links that we'll put in the channel below. Right about down here. All right. Thanks for watching. Rock on. Peace. Nice try, though. Didn't even go there. <laughs> I got a running scurred. Running scurred down the street. Down the street.